Hi everyone, so I just wanted to show you, this is a paper nest that is made by wasp. This nest is occupied by yellow jackets. Now a few weeks ago we had a ground yellow jacket nest and it could have been um, a secondary colony starting off of this one because we are getting into fall, uh, we're a week into it, and the queens will survive the winter the rest of the hive will die off. So they start producing more queens, just like with the honeybees um, when they cast swarms. So they're casting off swarms for their survival. And the problem is, this is in an apple tree. So I've been being very careful. You can see here we've got the children's play centers and stuff back here. But the yellow jackets are looking for a place to go for the winter to stay in from the cold. We've been getting some lower temperatures and you can see down here I've got a brush pile um, from a storm that we had. We've collected the wood to use for smoking the meat, but in the process they could use that as a home for building another nest and wintering over. Um, this is the deck and they are trying to get up into every possible cranny um, that they can and I've gotten several of them in the house. So I have put together this yellow jacket trap and all it is is a soda pop bottle. I cut the top third off and inverted it with the lid off and this has been out here for a minute. Now what you do is you pour in some wine and I had some white Zinfandel and a couple of uh, drops of dishwashing liquid, shake it up. If you don't have wine, you can use fermented apple cider, which only takes a day or two. I wanted to start trapping these guys right away this afternoon because it is the season for the rose hips. And I collect these Rogosa rose petals for making soaps and lotions. So I got a good sting from a wasp today, totally unprovoked. And they are everywhere all over the farm. So I know there's probably more than just the one nest. So if you can see there, there's a yellow jacket already seeing about this. And something is already down in the liquid. So we'll check back here in about 15 minutes and see how we're doing on catching. Okay, so it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. I kind of lost track of time and came out. But I have got some... Um, some of the black wasps and many of the yellow jackets. I have counted about 15 in here total. So it's working really, really well. I set one at my barn and over at the front of the house uh, where the kids play because we've got so many of them. But they seem to really like this fermented um, fruit from the wine. So if you don't have that, use the substitute like I recommended with the cider. But we're gonna come back tomorrow and see how many we got here. Get rid of these stingers. This is a bottle I have here in the front of the house and I've got about a half a dozen flies in here which free fly control that's great but this one's been out here for about five minutes and I've already got three yellow jackets in it. And here is yet a third yellow jacket trap that I've set and if you've seen my other videos, Ginger is getting ready to have her babies next week. And I'm trying to reduce some of the hornets that have been flying around out here, which are naturally attracted because we've been bringing the apples out for the pigs. So this one's been here for five minutes and I've already got a couple of yellow jackets caught in here. And as soon as I came out, there were a couple others flying around the top and one other chasing me around. So it's a great bait. It was something I had on hand. I had heard of it, set it up within 20 minutes, and we're already killing them. Thanks for watching the videos, everybody. Ask any questions, we'll answer you the best we can as always. Bye!